Hello and welcome once again to Granny Grow Anne. As you can see, I am in my national costume because today is the national day, the 17th of May, our Constitution Day. Oh, it's such a pleasure. We haven't had the, the opportunity to, to celebrate properly uh, since uh, 19. And uh, well, that's three years ago now. So everybody is such joyful and happy and the weather with us here is absolutely fantastic. So we could not ask for anything more. Well, in Oslo, in our, in our capital, of course, the king and queen and all the royal family are celebrating together with the people of Oslo. Um, and uh, and in Norway we have um, we have it that we are doing a parade with children, and that is very important for us. There's no tanks and military things, but it's children, and it's our flags, and it's singing, and of course it's corpse music. So every school has have their own. Most of the schools have their own um, corpse. Uh, so that they, they can play on the 17th of May. But of course, here where I live, out in the countryside, there is no king and queen coming. So we are celebrating with our school and the corpse and the children. And uh, we start very early in the morning. We start at about eight o'clock at the latest. We start, we, we put up our flags at eight o'clock sharp and um, we, we make speeches and we sing our national song and all other national, not, not only the anthem, but also other songs that we like. So I thought that I, um, I should take you along um, together with me, uh, having this opportunity to be together with my grandchildren and her school. So she's playing in the corpse, she's doing the cornet, and she's very proud. It's the first time she's been marching and she, they have been practicing so much. And it's, it's so wonderful to see these young people so, so uh, very serious, taking this, uh, this big, big task on them. And uh, well, it's just wonderful. And here the young musicians are coming and lining up in front of the school parade because they are the ones that are going in the front. And I am dashing down the road in my national costume so that I'm able to, to film from a far distance. And it's so charming to see them coming down this road in their beautiful red uniform. They are very young. I mean, my grandchild who is in the middle of this uh, corpse, so you can't see her, and I didn't see her actually, but uh, she's only nine, and some of the others are only eight. You know, we have a few others who are a bit older. And there's one here going in a blue, a blue dress, and that's because she's a graduate. And when you are a graduate in Norway, you have uh, something we call a Russe uniform, which is just uh, that all of the graduates are, are carrying this, either blue or red, depending on what you have been studying. So there, here they are, and this is my other grandchild coming with the dog. <laughs> This um, national costume is from Setesdal. Every every region in Norway have their own their own uh, national costume. So that's why it's uh, hundreds of different varieties of these uh, national costumes. And mi mine is from a place uh, called Valle in Setesdal, and um, it's from the 16th century, I think, 15 or. 1560 or something it's very very old and it's two two dresses on top of one another it's one white and then one black and underneath the white 
<laughs> I, I have it. Uh, later on there will be champagne, probably. Uh, I will do a performance and uh, later on at five o'clock, now it's about two, so I will just relax here now and um, take you along with me and my grandchild to the school and the celebration there. Thing because in our national um, anthem we talk about uh, we talk about our our brotherhood between Sweden and Denmark. Um, Sweden has always been a neutral country. Uh, we have been in at war the the Second World War. We went to war, and of course after that we came into NATO and we do our duty wherever that is needed. So we've been to Afghanistan and other places. But uh, only yesterday it came on the news that Sweden is also uh, breaking the 200 year tradition of being a neutral country. And they are actually going into NATO uh, if they are permitted by the other countries. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting to see and, and especially today when the news came yesterday and today because we talk about uh, very often about uh, Sweden on our Constitution Day yes because uh, Sweden have been a neutral for 200 years uh, but before that we went to war or Sweden went to war with us that was in 1814 and uh, we came to an agreement and we uh, made our constitution in 1814. So, and that is why we are celebrating this day on the 17th of May. Of course, that sounds like Norway is a very young country, but of course we are not. But uh, we went, we had been a country under Sweden for several years and we went we were a country under Denmark for very many years and then of course before that it was the Viking time and all that talking about the Vikings um, my 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 husband he was a musician and he was given this lure lure we call it it's a it's a instrument from the Viking age and um, and my grandchild, as she is now playing in a corpse, she has been given this lure uh, by me to to her after after her her, her grandfather, and uh, she was playing on it when we put up the flag this morning, and I'm going to show you just a little from that. <laughs> I shall leave you now. I shall um, uh, think about what I'm doing later on and um, tomorrow is a normal day so I better be careful with that champagne I was talking about. <laughs> but anyway, I shall leave you. I shall take a flag and say hooray and um, hope to see you again soon. Take care.
Bye.